Modern Warfare 2 is under some heavy criticism for a few things that, well, the community has been talking about for quite a few years now, but Infinity War doesn't seem to be doing anything about. Two of those main things being the minimap and skill-based matchmaking. Now, you cannot deny that skill-based matchmaking is pretty much in every single multiplayer game. In one way or another, there is some form of skill-based matchmaking. How strict it's implemented is a whole different story, but in every single Call of Duty and every other major shooter out on the market now, there's bound to be some skill-based matchmaking in some form or another. I just feel like within Call of Duty in the recent years, it's definitely been pumped up a bit. It feels like you get a few games when you first get the game where you kind of feel like lobbies are random, but then the game starts to figure out how decent of a player you are, good or bad, and starts to put you in lobbies with people of a similar caliber. Now, to be clear, I am not against you playing against people who are of a similar skill level than you, but I feel like when you're playing casual games, like you're not playing the ranked mode in Call of Duty, having super strict skill-based matchmaking just makes the game unfun. I mean, realistically, yes, you're playing people who are in a similar skill bracket as you, but it makes every lobby feel like it's kind of a sweat fest. Like, you literally have to try your ass off in order to do good with strict skill-based matchmaking in play. And it's definitely been a problem in Modern Warfare with 2019's release. Black Ops Cold War didn't feel like it had it so much, but definitely Vanguard and now Modern Warfare 2. Even in the beta, you could definitely tell that there's that skill-based matchmaking in play. Now, like I said, I am not against skill-based matchmaking. I completely understand why it's implemented in these games. But here's my solution for it. In core game modes of Call of Duty, when you're just playing quick play, don't have strict skill-based matchmaking. Of course, if you have it as all completely random lobbies, there is a chance that the super casual players, the, the 40 year old dads playing on a 65 inch TV, aren't going to have a good time if you're stomping them. But of course, that's not going to be every single game that's played. I feel like if you tone down skill based matchmaking, at least in the core game mode, when you're not playing ranked, everyone would have a better time. Yeah, sure, some of the people who are super, super casual might get stomped on a few games here or there, but with the current system, it feels like you're getting stomped on most game modes. Tone down skill-based matchmaking in quick play, in the core game mode when you're not playing ranked, and have strict skill-based matchmaking in ranked. After all, that's what a ranked mode is for. It is so that skill-based matchmaking comes into play, and you get to play in a lobby where it's a super competitive environment and everyone's of a similar skill bracket. The other change that's been in Infinity Ward's game since Modern Warfare 2019 is the red dots on the minimap. Here's what Infinity Ward said about the current situation with red dots on the minimap. Currently in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, we only show enemy player dots when a UAV is active. The design reason for this is so that we do not want to punish players for firing their weapons. We also want players to actively search out the origin of a gunshot versus just traveling directly where the dot is on the minimap. We will continue to gather the feedback on how the game is playing in regards to this topic. So basically, Infinity Ward is saying that red dots will negatively impact certain players. So who does the red dot situation impact? Well, if red dots are on the minimap when you're firing an unsilenced weapon, that really negatively impacts the super casual players who are probably more prone to camping in the game. Which, this hasn't been an issue that COD has really had before. I mean, in the other COD games where red dots were on the minimap, if someone fired an unsilenced weapon, sure, it would give your location away, but it didn't make everybody in the lobby travel to that exact destination. Now, of course, the red dots do show up on your compass at the top of the screen, so you are able to get a little bit more of an indication as to where the enemy is if they are firing an unsilenced weapon. But I feel like Call of Duty had a pretty good system before. If you have red dots on the minimap when people are firing their weapon, just use a suppressor. I mean, typically I'm using a suppressor in most COD games anyways. That's just kind of the way I like to roll. Quite honestly, I'm not too pressed about the change to the minimap. It really doesn't impact me all that much. Sure, I do look at the minimap for information based on where I am in the map, where my teammates are, and if the red dots were on the minimap with or without a UAV, of course, I will be noticing who is where on the map if someone fires an unsilenced weapon. Personally, I don't care which way it goes. 
Quite honestly, they could keep the system they have now, or they could revert it to the classic Call of Duty system, and I would be completely fine either way. I see player feedback is really negative in terms of the minimap change, and I honestly don't understand why everybody is so pressed about it. Sure, it gave you some valuable information, but it's not like the information is completely gone from the game. It is still there in one way or another. It just makes it seem like people who play COD that are super pressed about this change, like just stare at the minimap. That is all they are doing. There is plenty other of ways to play the game and figure out where enemies are, footsteps, UAV, all these other aspects. So honestly, if they keep the minimap the way it is, I'm not gonna, you know, that's not gonna make or break it for me for this game. The skill-based matchmaking, on the other hand, is definitely an issue that needs to be addressed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, mates.